Stockton Coal Mine is situated near Westport, on the rugged west coast of New Zealand's South Island. The open cast mine, operated by Solid Energy Limited, Coals of New Zealand, resides on a plateau 1,000 metres above sea level, surrounded by dense bush and protected national park. The area is a natural habitat for several endangered species and makes for a difficult working environment as the rainfall is around 7,000 millimetres per annum and the area is often covered in thick fog. Accessing the rich coal seam is complicated by a steep sandstone overburden up to 30 metres thick and over vertical in places. This overburden needed to be removed without causing damage below the mining lease boundary and potentially harming the nearby endangered species. Geovert, a design build contractor specialising in difficult access rockfall mitigation projects, were retained to provide a turnkey solution, combining slope protection and stabilisation measures to manage the rockfall hazard and protect the surrounding environment with a world-class design build rockfall protection solution. The barrier was 1.7 kilometres long and follows a ridgeline escarpment, making this the longest rockfall protection barrier in the southern hemisphere. This was one of the largest and most challenging rockfall construction projects completed to date anywhere in the world. The remote nature of the site means all large equipment and parts need to be flown in by helicopter. To access the slope for anchoring, heli-portable drilling rigs are used. The anchors are 4 to 6 metres deep with a hole diameter of 76 millimetres. Anchor loads are dictated by the maximum breaking load of the retaining cables. Once the anchor hole is drilled, the anchor is inserted and grout pumped into the hole, securing the anchor in place. Wire rope anchors are used to attach the upslope retaining cables from the barrier, and 32mm rebar anchors are used for the base plates. Once the grout is cured, the base plate can be attached and bolted down. The barrier's posts are flown in by helicopter and lowered into place for connection to the base plates. The posts are up to 1,000 kilograms in weight and 7 metres high for the 3,000 kilojoule barrier at the barrier's highest point. The retaining cables run from the top of the barrier posts to the upslope wire rope anchors. These are secured at the same time as the base plate connection and are used to adjust and set the post angle to suit the slope profile. For the 3,000 kilojoule barrier, there are four 22 mm diameter cables running along both the top and bottom of the barrier. The bottom support cables for the barrier are laid in place along the base of the barrier line. They are then mechanically tensioned and permanently clipped into place. The same process is then carried out for the top support cables. Once the cables are tensioned in place, the ringnet panels are flown in by helicopter for installation. This is a challenging task, with the crew working 7 metres in the air as they attach the ringnet panels, which can be up to 7 metres in length, to the barrier.
This is often done under duress from the site's extreme weather conditions. The helicopter assists with positioning the huge ring nets into place and the team shackle them onto the support cables. Finally, the sections of ring net panels are shackled together and a 50 by 50 millimeter mesh installed over the ring nets, completing that section of the barrier.